Good morning, and we're off. We're heading out to Tagatai. This is officially, um, officially take two. Officially take two. <laughs> one, take one is going to be in the closet. It's going to be in the behind the behind the drapes with the with their clothing. But we'll pull it out one day and we'll show everybody. But we are on, um, what are we on? S-Lex? Yeah. We're on S-Lex headed to the volcano for the hike. And we have everything that we need. Uh, we're going to go through the inventory right now. The most important thing that we need, if you ever go on a hike, especially if you're going to be hiking a volcano, you need to have with you our Lego mat. And the necessary accessory. <laughs> Every time. So this is the most important <laughs> thing right here is, is our Lugo mat, number one. Right. Travel light with Arlu. Right. Then the second I thing heard you, I heard you, I heard you. <laughs> the second thing you need, of course, is Starbucks. 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 And then we have the soda. See I'm holding it gingerly with my ankles. It's very painful, very hard to do. Um, but I'm balancing that between my ankles and um, didn't sound right. <laughs> um, and then no, we're, but, we're heading um, out. The, uh, this is the second introduction. The first one was okay, but um, uh, I just got a little self-conscious because it was this side of my face. So anyway, um, it was here. <laughs> no, but we're gonna we're gonna put it out one time. We might even put it at the end of the vlog. We'll see. But um, anyway, it looks like a beautiful day. The, the skies are clearing. The skies are blue earlier. Wow! Look at that! Look at that! It's quite lovely, actually. Yeah. What do you call those clouds? Those are serious. Are those serious clouds? Yeah, they're not joking around. <laughs> So for breakfast today, instead of going to Jollibee, which is the tradition, we went to KFC and uh, we realized that KFC does not have uh, breakfast No breakfast. Meals. No breakfast. No breakfast at KFC. Yeah. But uh, what did you order? They have a uh, a chicken cani sandwich. It's like a it's like a, a California wrap. Mackie. It's a California Mackey wrap. It's California Mackey twister. That, that's it. California Mackey twister. Right. It's the chicken, a chicken strip, in a wrap, which you'd think would be good, with cucumber, mango, and, and mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Which theoretically it sounds good, and even on the picture it looked good. He ordered two. I ordered one. And I ordered a bowl too, so. Yeah. But um, it wasn't good. Uh, mango for me is weird when it's warm, and then you add mayonnaise. Actually, you know, let's face it, cheap mayonnaise, and um, a rather dry tortilla wrap, and uh, it wasn't very good. So anyway, I just wanted to um, give the rating for the California Mackey Twister. Out of 10, I'd probably give it a 3. I was thinking the same thing. 3? Three. Three. Okay, there you have it, folks. It's weird, because it seems Three. like sushi, but it's not. <laughs> he feels that strongly about it. There we are. Welcome to Gaitai. We're here, guys. Home of Bukapai and Volcanoes. Yeah, bu and Bukapai, you have to explain what Bukapai is. Buko is coconut. So buka pie would be a um, coconut potato salad. Pie. No, it's actually it's, it's coconut pie. Yeah. Coconut pie. Coconut cake. Coconut yeah, we'll, pie. Yeah, we'll probably let's see if we can get some coconut later. Coconut pie or cake? What's the difference between pie um, and cake? It's, it's a pie. Pie is a wet. Pie is a wet cake. I think pie is pie has filling. Uh, um, pie has filling. And this this cake uh, this maybe, pie is filled with buko coconut. But I'd like to um uh, this to put that to the test. The pie is a wet cake. The pie that is, is a correct. wet cake. Either a wet cake or a pie is a cake with filling. Like once you have a filling, it becomes a pie. Is that possible? Or a crust? Maybe does a pie always have a crust? It's a tiger! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I just get a little excited. Sorry, tiger. So anyway, um, we were just listening to the song of Kesha. What is that song called? I don't know. In a place downtown. We'll yeah, it's, it's down. just like she's singing about some CD bar, but uh, Mr. had a funny a dirty free -for -all. observation. If you listen very closely to that song, you'll hear that she actually changes sex mid-octave in one of the one of the <laughs> verses. She goes from Kesha to Keith. I don't know what happens, but there's a there's a definite shift that happens in her in her octave yeah. range. So we'll, we'll try to identify oh, the exact point. Oh look, guys. Those are pineapple Those are, mountains. So we are now passing. You know you're in Tagaytay when you start passing these things. These are pineapple plantations. Look how steep it is. Imagine if you're working that mountain. 
you got to be okay, almost oops. falling over backwards getting those pineapples. There, they're the pineapple vendors. And you also have, you know, some, some nurseries, some plant nurseries. And there, piles and piles of pineapple. And then an ostrich, o ostrich! And then there's an ostrich. <laughs> Oh, the things you find in Tagaytay. Now you'll see that guy on the motorcycle up ahead. That's Joel. And Joel is going to be our tour guide today uh, on the boat and over to the uh, volcano. So, so we just sealed the deal, folks. We just sealed the deal with Joel. I think we trust him. He seems trustworthy. What do you think, Carlo? He seems good trustworthy. Chance? Actually, what we're doing now is we're following him to his mom's house where we're going to park the car. And that's also right by the water where his boat is docked. And um, Joel and the two of us are going to take the boat uh, to the main crater where uh, they, they have a sulfuric lake. A lake of sulfur. Oh, that's going to smell nice. <laughs> so, um, but apparently there's, there's another crater that looks more interesting form-wise, but apparently that's not the one that uh, that you, you go to. Um, yeah, I'm curious about that one too. That's yeah, the one I really want to go to. It almost seems like it would be more picturesque. Yeah, exactly. But, I guess uh, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, what you're saying is that it's not the one that you go to. He's okay. good on that bike. He's very good on that bike. Well, he's probably traversed these roads many, many times. You should see his mother rides it. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm happy to announce that we finally made it to the water. We are at the base of the uh, of the lake right now, so we're gonna hop on a boat and then go over to the uh, the island. So is this the whole thing about? Are you ready? This Here we go. Here we go. Right? Yeah, I think it is. There we go. So we're now walking. That's Joel right there. And I guess yeah, that's that's one of the see that's one crater, but that's not the main crater. The one that we're going to, I think, is this. Somewhere there. So we'll find out from Joe. That's the boat that we're going to get on. And this is his boat. Hello, it's okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Got it? Yep. So we just got on the boat. And uh, it looks like it's a good day. I asked them if it was going to rain, they said it wasn't. So, here we go. Excited for the trip. Time to head out. Here's a sweeping view from the boat. We haven't moved yet. Look at that island, that one there. Amazing. And that's where we're going. There, beautiful view. Okay guys, so here we go. I'm on a horse named Angel. Here's Angel. And uh, we're now making our way up to the crater of the volcano. This is there. So this is there. And uh, so we're now passing through a very provincial scene. Here you have like a little marketplace where they're shopping meat. And uh, yeah, so this is like a little a little village there. So I'm a little scared because it's my first, my second time ever on a horse. The first time I was five years old with my dad, and uh, this is the second time. So um, I'm holding on for dear life. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. But this is what lays before me. <laughs> so there we 
we just passed uh, some fellow travelers by horse and um, I'll have to say that it's actually a nice way to travel it's a little bumpy it's a little weird in the cheeks but it's okay you know um, I, I, I'm not sure if it's something that I do very often but once in a while it's fine as I said, the last time I did this was five yes. years old, so... Okay, hold on. Just ask him for my ticket. It's a rather steep climb that we're doing now. So, um, we'll see. Wow, this is amazing. So we are going up the mountain, guys. Hold on. Hold your horses, literally. <laughs> right? Hold your horses, people. And that we're leading a caravan of people. Oh my god, it's scary. There he is. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I'm 65% I'm scared. So, here we go. Here we go. He's beginning to trot. Beginning to trot. So, oh my god. We just had this situation. Um, my my uh, guide tried to get on the horse, and he startled him, and uh, the horse just start, went a little crazy, started spinning around, and we fell. Um, there. Uh, and as for uh, Mister, he all same thing happened. The, the horse got startled. He also fell. Camera hit the rock, etc. So anyway, um, it's all part of the adventure. But anyway, uh, I want to show you this view. And there's Mr. Coming. We're both actually a little rattled, but um, I'm just trying to stay above it, you know. But um, so far, everything's okay. Huh? Anyway, uh -oh. off you go. The horse is huffing and buffing. I really feel bad for it. And it makes me wonder about, well, it makes me reflect on the term beast of burden. Because I'm, I'm literally sitting on one. Anyone who would have to carry me would probably look at me as a burden. Anyway, um, look at this, it's a deep ravine. It's actually quite lovely just to be surrounded by nature. And very thick foliage, very thick. Almost like a rainforest. No, I don't know if it's a rainforest, but um, very dense with foliage. It looks like we're coming up close to the, the, the top of the, the peak. So, uh, here we go. 